so yeah let's start by the video let's discover the car So you, now you discover the car and we have one just outside for those who would like to do a test drive of a Tesla. We have one today, the Tesla S model. So it's a new way of, you know, uh, driving, you know, it's a, it's a new experience. Um, a lot of customers are a little bit scared about like driving an electric car. How do you manage this shift? Yeah, so it's... It's absolutely true what, what you just said. So there is still obviously skeptical people. You know, yes. this is a this is a young market. This is a young product. So in Tesla, we think that today, for for getting down a winning strategy, you do have to propose to the market something really different, mm. something that is comparable to a traditional car, and in, it's even more efficient. That's why we are we started to produce the Model S, mm. and that's we we we're getting that big success with this car. This is a car able to, to get f up to 500 kilometers of range with impressive performances. You just need to consider that this is a car that is able to go from 0 to 104.4 seconds, mm. which means a real sport car yeah. with a top speed of over 200 kilometers per hour. And obviously with uh, no cost of you know, gasoline or maintenance related to the product. So we think that we are on the right way. You mentioned you have this project in the US, I think, uh, to deliver free uh, ele electricity uh, for all the Tesla, and you are like building an electric network in the US in a way to go like from New York to California and to be able to be connect and recharge all the way. Yeah, that's correct. And this is not just for the US. I think we do have a video about that, about yes. the about the superchargers. Um, the superchargers is a Tesla equipment okay. that allows the customer to charge their car mm -hmm. for free. This will be implemented in Europe. We started already in Europe to install the superchargers, and the superchargers is an, a Tesla equipment that allows the car to be charged up to 120 kilowatt, which means to re fully recharge the Model S in about 40 minutes, which is something impressive. The very good thing is that the superchargers will cover the 90% of the European population by the end of next year. Wow. That means that all the Model S drivers will be able to drive all around Europe. Mm. And the other really important thing is that they will be able to use them for free. Well, impressive. Uh, we saw in this video just uh, running here um, that uh, using your, 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 your firm, I think you, the car are made in, uh, in California. You bought an to old Toyota factory, something like this, and you, you start do, doing this. How many cars do you do a year? How many do you produce? So um, the factory we bought from Toyota some year ago is able to produce up to 500,000 units. Okay. So that is because we, ha we do have really big projects. You know, Tesla is performing amazingly. The company is growing a lot. Mm. And that means that in the close future, we will need uh, such a big space, you know, for, you know, for the next plans. Today, we still, I mean, we produce 20,000 units per year. Okay. We are already sold out, and the, you know, the, it's, it's really good to underline that today we are still selling more than how much we are able to produce, which is good result. The company was founded by somebody famous in this community, Elon Musk. Did, did you meet him, or did you have interaction? Uh, yeah, we met a couple of times, uh, even more than a couple of times. He is obviously a, a visionary. He is, he, other than being an ex extremely success successful businessman, mm -hmm. he's be able to innovate, to create something really disruptive, let's say. 
Um, he's the one that, I mean, without him, this company wouldn't exist probably because he is able to not just to see at what innovation could mean today, but to see at that on a long-term vision. So I think everybody in Tesla is, is grateful to him and uh, I'm the first and uh, I think that we're gonna get some extra surprise by him in the next few, few years. What the typology of clients who are buying uh, Tesla? Yeah, that's that's a really good question. Um, are they geeks or no, 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 uh, no. That be that be bad because they're not that many actually. Um, that that's really good that there are several categories that are actually buying our cars. Uh, it can be technology people addicted or simply sport cars or luxury cars uh, addicted, or uh, let's say green environmental people. That is all people that is swapping to an electric vehicles because they started to take care of the planet, take care of the future, and they decided to make this choice. And let's talk just a few minutes about the brand Tesla. Uh, where does it coming from? The name Tesla, uh, what the value, what the DNA of it? So yeah, um, Tesla Motor takes his name from uh, Nikola Tesla, um, mm. which was a Serbian engineer, who is basically who was basically the inventor of the um, electricity. Yeah. Which means that the, that would have, have been a most appropriate name for a company like this, obviously. And um, we think that we, I mean, we're kind of proud to have such a, a, a name like that. And uh, um, all we're trying to build around the brand is obviously all around, uh, um, you know, the name that this company is representative. Okay. What are the perspective for the next year, you know, for, for Tesla in Europe? I think that you are planning to open a place in Paris yes. in a way to connect with much more uh, customers. Yeah, so uh, that's correct. Um, thank you for the question. Uh, so the company is growing a lot. Uh, we are hiring lots of people. Um, if you look at the automotive industry so far today, unfortunately, and it's a shame also for us, it's not probably the best moment the industry is living. Uh, Tesla is uh, living an opposite tendency right now. We are hiring a lot, we are hiring lots of people in Europe, and we are opening new service centers and new stores all around Europe. Uh, the next one will be Paris. We're looking for a big store in Paris because we had one since uh, some, uh, for a few weeks ago but we had to change because it was too small for us. France is going to play a crucial role for our, in, uh, for our numbers, for our sales in Europe, so we do need to, to concentrate over here too. Okay, okay last word. Um, you are starting, I mean, you, the, the website you have, uh, do you have a lot of, uh, all the connection is coming from the, from the web in a way to organize test drive? Uh, you don't have store yet, so it's very interesting because you have a lot of, test drive in Paris, but all this is coming from the web. It's yeah, dur during this, yeah, just uh, j for the last few weeks, we didn't have a store. Uh, it's actually uh, true in Paris, but the test drives we're getting are impressively high. Uh, that is because lots of people is obviously traveling through the web and is getting interested into the car. And that is because we built, uh, we don't advertise. So we don't put a single euro in advertisement, mm -hmm. which could be a bad news. Uh, for someone, but we think that uh, the best way to, you know, to spread the word and to communicate about the company is made by two big channels. On one hand, the media reviews, um, it's very good, you know, to, to underline that lots of, I mean, pretty much all the big outlets around the world test drove our cars and, you know, the, the reviews were impressively positive. And on the other hand, as we said before, there is a very big customer base made not just of customers, uh, but also people, potential customers and people that test drove the car that are speaking about the car. So we do have these two big channels mm. that are spreading the word all around the world through the web, through the friends, through their networks. So there is a very strong Tesla community that is supporting us. Last word, you are going to start a, like a Facebook and Twitter account for France or something like this? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to build it. We're setting it up. Uh, we did a couple of tests in Europe already and these have been extremely successful, so we're going to do the same in France, absolutely. Roberto, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you all.